A girl estimated to be between the age of eight and 12 years old was found living with a group of monkeys. This took place in a wildlife sanctuary on the Indian border to Nepal. And she has been named the forest Druga. Monkey girl. In, no, the forest Druga in reference to a Hindu goddess. Now, what's really interesting about this story is that when the police- A girl was living with monkeys. Well, yes, that is, it's already interesting. <laughs> but what's also interesting is that when the police went to free her from the monkey clan, the monkeys actually attacked. Um, a police officer described the scene saying, quote, when he and another officer called the girl, the monkeys attacked him, but he was able to rescue the girl. He sped away with her in his police car while the monkeys gave chase. Um, so you'd think it's kind of a fun real life jungle book story, but actually it's kind of a little murkier than that because the girl was found to be malnourished. She had long nails and wounds on her body. And the doctors could not ascertain her age because she's between eight and 12 years old, we think. Um, she can't speak and also they'd have no idea how long she's been living in the forest. Now with treatment, she has actually begun to eat and walk normally and uh, assimilate to human life. The chief medical superintendent of the government run hospital says, quote, she is still not able to speak but understands whatever you tell her and even smiles. This comes a long way uh, from when she was found because when she was found, she would quote, throw food on the ground and eat it directly with her mouth without lifting it with her hands. She used to move around using only her elbows and knees, if you guys can imagine that on elbows and knees. Um, now, what's going on with Holy her crap. as of now is that the authorities are searching for her parents. They're trying to figure out who she is. They're looking for uh, searching missing children's lists, uh, all that sort of thing. But if they can't find her, she will likely go into a home for juveniles when her health has improved. So uh, the offset when I saw the headline for this story, Hassan, I was like, oh my gosh, it's the real life jungle book. Uh, and she was living with monkeys and you know, ostensibly they were taking care of her um, the best of their ability, she was obviously still not in great health. But then you hear about the details of this, I think it's actually a little bit more sinister than the headline would indicate in that she was obviously abandoned in the forest. Well, what's, interest, what's interesting about this for me is that um, real life Jungle Book is just, it's vicious and it's horrific, mm -hmm. it's not as, Fun as like dancing around with monkeys and right. they feed you grapes and nuts and stuff and mm -hmm. then you're totally fine. Like that's what real life Jungle Book would look like rather than the, with the Disney version of it. So that's really terrifying. Um, what I'm truly worried about, and mm -hmm. I'm partially excited that it, the story is coming to light and it's gaining popularity in an international. Uh, like internationally is gaining popularity, people are talking about it. So she might get the appropriate care that she needs or be used as like somewhat uh, of a case study almost where, but like in the end, people will look after her. Um, because if they just kind of pushed her back into the juvenile treatment system mm -hmm. in India, um, I don't know how well she would be taken care of. Not saying that the the you know the orphanages in India are aren't great. I don't know about that, but I'm saying like a person who is clearly not capable at this moment of interacting with other humans, mm -hmm. putting them in, uh, putting them around other children that are growing in our formative years. Like I didn't walk around in my elbows and knees or had super long nails and ate food from the ground when I was around eight to ten years old. And I still had a hard time socializing with other eight to ten year olds. Like right, that's and just that's like a very difficult time for you to for when you're growing up well, and you're trying to understand things and understand concepts. And then this person just gonna be launched into that world. That's terrifying. Well, and never mind that she can't verbally communicate. At that's this another. Point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I think that there is a lot of troubling aspects to this story. Um, I know that I, I said at the onset that we, you know, could assume that maybe she was abandoned, but I, you know, she could have been a runaway as well. It just seems like there was so little oversight into the care of this young girl, and that's I think what is really upsetting hearing about this. Um, we want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. This is obviously a developing story. What do you think about this? Had you heard about this before? I have a question too. Yeah. My question is, do you think? This was an abandoned girl who ran around and got um, got taken care of by monkeys, or do you think this was a monkey that evolved into a human? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.